Hey kids, it's Englantine here, and this is our day two of the Food and Wine Festival. And it was interesting. It was a feels like 98 degrees outside. It was 93, but I don't understand that. It's 98 degrees. Anyway, uh, we had some good food, not as much as we wanted to, because during that 98 degree day, it rained, and we saw part of a concert. Anyway, here you go. Enjoy. Always get the yeah. So here's the first thing I tried today. It's the um, artichoke dip from Greek. No, it's from the Almond Center, or whatever that was called. I forgot to take a picture of the menu, but trust me, that's where it's from. You could also get hummus there. We figured, ah, we get artichoke dip. Let's try it here, and it tastes good. I think it tastes like uh, clam chowder, <laughs> but uh, Gail's saying no. But it's good though, right? It's pretty tasty and warm, which is good for a hot day like today. Yeah. <laughs> Wine and dine. Oh, here, the butternut squash. That's butternut squash ravioli. We got seared scallops, a uh, trio of artisan cheese, and artist palette of wine and cheese so you can get a wine pairing. I'm not a wine drinker, though, so maybe those seared scallops. And uh, Gailey wants the squash. You want to try the cheese trio now you see it's cute? At Wine and Dine, I grabbed the uh, scallops with uh, black mushrooms, was it? It was uh, a truffle, truffle celery root, pure Brussels sprouts, and wild mushrooms. And it looks like it's wild mushrooms with a couple of sea scallops. And then we got the uh, butternut squash ravioli with uh, brown butter vinaigrette, Parmesan cheese, and pumpkin seeds. Okay. okay, quick roundup. Did the uh, scallops, did the pumpkin ravioli. Pumpkin ravioli is the winner at the wine and dine booth. There is, I say there's no flavor to this, to the scallops and mushroom, and I'm not eating that. So what ends up happening is you feel like you're eating a plate filled with erasers. There's no flavor, it's just bleh. While this is delicious in about six different ways, you get sweet, you get savory, you get tangy, it's all over there. So, 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 so good. A little note, since I said it was tasteless. Uh, there was an aftertaste, by the way, that, that shot up afterwards that hit every burp, every swallow. I swear to God, I wanted to get sake, even though I'm not a big drinker. I wanted to buy some really strong sake from the Japan store just to burn that flavor out of my throat. It was so horrible. If you ever go, avoid this. Like the plague. Now this is definitely Gail's booth more than mine. It's got liquid nitro chocolate almond truffle with warm whiskey caramel, sweet dark chocolate raspberry tort with whipped cream, and uh, Twining's pumpkin chai tea and chocolate shake. And you got a couple of alcoholic drinks as well, but as we've said before, not a big drinker. At the chocolate booth, we got the chocolate shake. It's, uh, what is it? It's chai tea. It's a pumpkin chai tea. Pumpkin chai with tea with chocolate. And now you can taste the chocolate strong. The chai is a little bit missing, but it does mix very well with the, uh, pump. it's more like a pumpkin chocolate and it does mm -hmm. taste very good. Mm -hmm. It's $5. Okay, considering what you can get for $5 around here, it's worth it. You may be her mate. All right, may I ask I'm her I'm giving it to her. So, since we don't have the same alphabet as English, I go by sound. May I have your name? Gail. 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 And your name's Yui? It's right. It's my name. Oh. oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yes. Dad jokes. Yay. 
Yeah. I've got them. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. All righty, true believers. Time to go see the most American show about America that America could ever think of making. Awesome. All right, right here we have India's got warm India bread, Madras red curry, and korma chicken. And I chose the curry, so we're going to check to see how this tastes. It is hot in my hand. I love Indian curry, but I'm allergic to white onions. Now, if you cook them long enough, I can have some. But if I eat too much, I will get sick, and this was chock full. They did not say there were onions in it. But as I spooned through, like the chickpeas were fine, the... The rice was fine, but when I spooned through the actual curry, there were so many onions I was afraid to eat it, so I returned it for a refund. I did take one taste, though, and that's how I found out there were onions in it. It wasn't that good. All right, so from China, we got the beef pancake, and we got the, uh, the bun, the duck bun. Uh, we had to ask for the duck bun without onions, but unfortunately, we couldn't do that with the beef, so I either eat around it or got to forego it. The duck is a sweet kind of teriyaki barbecue sauce. It is so good. Uh, I, I really enjoyed it. Gail got it without the onions for me, and I appreciate that. She loved it. This was her favorite thing of the day, and definitely her favorite thing from China. My favorite thing was the pancake. Now, it ended up being spicy. It's uh, It was a little bit more like a harsher teriyaki, but uh, it was almost like Korean barbecue. It was spicy, so Gail couldn't eat it, but she was kind enough to eat all the onions <laughs> so I could enjoy it. And uh, yeah, wow, this was my favorite. All right, again, going in the Festival Center. Fun times. Here at the Shimmering Sips. Now at Shimmering Sips, you have the frozen apple pie, tropical mimosa, key lime mimosa, blood orange mimosa. And I got that frozen apple pie because I'm such a drinker. Cool. It's really yummy. We okay. got to try it earlier. It tastes like uh, like a frozen apple juice, and then it's got the apple pie filling and the streusel topping. It's so good. Oh, well, there you go. Allie described it for you there, guys. All righty. <laughs> I'm going to give it a shot. It's frozen apple pie. Rock on. Because I'm a manly drinker. This was an interesting drink. Now, I like the flavor. The flavor is there, but it's dang near impossible to drink. You, until you get it down a little bit because and I used a spoon the pie filling is so uh intrusive I guess it's it's uh, it blocks you from actually taking a drink so you either have to eat the pie filling that's on top or try to mix it with a spoon so then you can drink it everything you see here is made of chocolate isn't that awesome well I think the toys aren't but otherwise really really cool so it's like the Slinky Dog roller coaster. And right here, of course, <laughs> T'Challa. T'Chocolate. That's what it is, it's T'Chocolate. This is the most impressive. I don't care what you say. Made of chocolate, the headless horseman. I want to eat this. Look at that, everything. Everything's chocolate there. That is just too cool for words. I'm very impressed. This is awesome. This one. Oh yeah. Oh, so cool. Everybody loves cocoa. Hey, it's cocoa made of coca. <laughs> All right. I'm old. Oh, oh, you're talking about grandma. Okay, okay. Then. I don't know what it is this year, but the uh, little Polynesian hotel mascot is just gaining popularity. Go figure. I know the Poly is a great hotel, but wow. The Polynesian Tiki Totem. And that's made of chocolate too. Wow. Oh, even nicer. 
And finally, <laughs> random leopard, but actually that's yeah, very lifelike. <laughs> that is really cool. Wow. I'm gonna take a picture real quick over here. All right, and we're back to the mimosa thing. I've never had a mimosa. This is a key, I love key lime anything, so we're gonna give this its day in court. All righty, gotta get a picture as well. That was the end of day two at the Food and Wine Festival, man, but I just had to show this. Okay, this is the entrance, this is the walkway, and this is my sweet spot right here. Yes, I got the first parking spot in the lot, and I almost wanna leave the car here so I don't lose this spot. But unfortunately, I can't do that. Anyway, it was a great day. We tried some good new stuff. We had a decent time with two songs at a concert and uh, ended up, it was weird. It was a good but weird day. What did you think of what you saw? Did you try any of this? If you went to the Food and Wine Festival, is there anything you saw that you would like to try? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, you want to see more, click like. Share to get word out about the channel. And don't forget, if you haven't done it already, to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Be a part of the notification squad. Also, if you don't mind helping out the channel, go on over to Patreon. Drop a dollar in the till. Help us keep the lights on and help us keep making videos for you. I'd like to thank everybody who's already done that. To everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching. Does she know that you love her? Oh. He knows the song too. How do you show her you love her? How does she know that you really, really, truly love her? I've never heard How this song. How does she know that you love her? How do you All show right. her you love her? Really nice work.